Today we're going to be looking at the technique of titration. Titrations are used to calculate the concentration of a solution by reacting it with a solution of known concentration, known as a standard solution. The equipment used in titrations are burettes to deliver solutions into a flask during the reaction, a pipette to measure a known volume of solution at the start of the reaction, and a conical flask to carry out the reaction in. The burette must first be rinsed with a little of the solution which will be used to fill it. Make sure the tap is closed before doing this. On this burette, the tap is open when it is in line with the burette and closed when it is horizontal. The burette is turned on its side and rotated to rinse the whole burette using the minimum volume of solution. The burette is filled with one of the two solutions. The funnel needs to be removed before the titration starts. If it was not removed, then drops may enter the burette and change the reading. The tap is open to ensure that the tip is also filled, as this is part of the reading of the burette. The pipette is rinsed and filled with the second chemical by filling with a little of the solution and then rotating on its side. The pipette is filled using a pipette filler. This one rolls to fill. The pipette is filled such that the meniscus lies on the line on the pipette. This solution is then transferred to a conical flask. The solution is allowed to drain into the conical flask. Once all of the solution has drained into the conical flask, it will appear that there is a drop left within the pipette, as can be seen here. The pipette is then touched to the edge of the glass, and one drop should be left within the end of the pipette. A few drops of indicator need to be added to allow us to see the end point of the titration. The first rough titration is carried out quickly. The start value from the burette is noted, in this case 4.8, reading from the bottom of the meniscus. The tap of the burette is opened and around 1 milliliter of solution is delivered into the flask while stirring. This is repeated until a permanent colour change is seen.
The end value of the burette is then noted. In this case, it's 24.9. The added volume, called a titer, is calculated. For this titration, it is 20.1. If the burette has emptied significantly, it may be topped up before the next titration. The flask is emptied and rinsed. Another sample is measured using the pipette into the conical flask. The indicator is added. The new start value is noted from the burette. It was 24.9 here. The end point can be estimated from the rough titer, which was 20.1. For this reaction, we know we could add about 19 ml of solution before the end point will happen. So we can add this quickly. From the burette. At this point, the solution is then added slowly, dropwise to the flask, with swirling until the permanent colour change is seen. The end volume is recorded as 45, and the added volume can be calculated 20.1. This procedure is repeated as necessary until two results are obtained that are concordant. This means that the added volumes are within 0.2 millilitres of each other. For example, 20.1 and 19.9 would be concordant. Once complete, all equipment must be rinsed with water. Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem or Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry for regular updates on new videos. Bye for now.